Hey guys, normally on my channel I'd be doing a K-pop MV reaction video, but for today we are taking a look at the movie Mr. Go. Mr. Go, directed by Kim Yong Hwa, is Korea's first 3D action family film. The movie is about a gorilla who becomes a baseball star with his 15 year old female manager who grows up with the gorilla, trains it personally, and pretty much listens to everything she says. Mr. Go is actually one of my first Korean movies that I've seen, and after watching it, I was like, pretty impressed and for it, for it being its first 3D film it was really amazing the cinematography was great the story was just awesome and you know there are times where you can just relate to the plot of the movie and you can f make connections between yourself and the gorilla and its trainer, uh, Weiwei. Now I found out about this movie after hearing that Taeyeon of Sonyashite, Girls' Generation, sang the OST, the original soundtrack for the film. So for me, that was pretty much the only way I found out about the movie as a whole, and then it got that's what kind of got me into wanting to watch it at the Hawaii International Film Festival, which is where I saw the movie at. By having Taeyeon sing the original soundtrack of this movie being the only way of me knowing about it, I was interested in how others outside of Korea found out about this movie, so I got the chance to talk to one of the staff members at HIF who is, is Korean and knows a lot about the film and this is what she had to say about it. Um, in Korea I believe that um, the, the marketing strategy that they used um, is that it was the first um, Korean 3D film that has ever been made. Um, however in China they marketed it um, towards a family friendly film so it was more targeted to towards you know family yeah family and friends um because it's something that you know everyone can enjoy um it's you know gorilla it has sports and um a lot of you know fun elements to the film so that's that's the strategy that i know um that they use uh for the film and um here in hawaii when we um you know invited the film to the festival we sort of went with the chinese um marketing strategy and uh, we pr promoted as a uh, as you know it's a, it's a really fun exciting family friendly film that we have to watch um, on the weekend yeah so after having a talk with grace about promoting the film i kind of wanted to dig a little deeper as to how local people in the state of hawaii found out about not just this korean film but other korean films that are also featured at hawaii international film festival in Hawaii, we have a locally based Korean family of channels called KBFD, which airs different Korean stations such as Arirang and KBS World and a few others. And I got the chance to talk to Jeff Chung, who is the general manager there, who also talked about spreading the word of these Korean movies that played at HIF and how pe how they basically draw people to the event to watch the movie and how they get others involved. Let's listen to what he had to say when I talked to him. Well, KBFT has been the primary sponsor for Spotlight on Korea for the last, gosh, at least 10 years or more. And uh, we'll do a lot of promotion on air. We'll show the trailers to the movies. We'll do news features. And uh, as you know, I write for the Star Advertiser on right. Sundays. So every year for HIF, uh, or right before HIF, I'll introduce all the Korean movies that will be playing. So those two factors are primarily the reason we have a lot of turnout. So it seems like the word gets out somehow, in some way, which attracts locals and visitors alike to watch these films, not only at HIF, but probably acquiring the DVD copy of that movie as well. So going back to Mr. Go, I thought that movie was just one of the greatest, probably my second favorite from HIF. 
with my favorite being Cold Eyes, which I wrote a review about at hpu.hif.org. But yeah, I brought my friend with me who looks into like K-pop and K-dramas, and we both really enjoyed the film in 3D, and that was like my first free 3D film that I've seen in a while since I was able to get a press pass for it just to see the movie for free. And it's not common for me to watch 3D movies because 3D movies in itself are expensive, but I got to watch one for free, which is great. Anyway, if you are into like the Korean culture in general, or if you're into K-pop or if you're into K-dramas and have seen other Korean movies before, you probably might like Mr. Go as a whole, especially it being its Korea's first 3D film, which is what they have, as Grace was saying, it was their main target of promotion to get audience attracted into the film. It was well received locally and it's being well received internationally. So if you have the chance to see Mr. Go, don't pass up the opportunity on doing so because it's such a great film that you will feel emotional about and you will be able to relate to at some points and you know, it's just a great family friendly action based film and you get to see a, a gorilla playing for the Dushan Bears baseball and you know it's just amazing you guys you, you gotta get to see it all right so that's it for this video review of the movie Mr. Go which I saw at the Hawaii International Film Festival this year. You can read my full written review on this movie by clicking on the link in the description below. So on that note thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Annyeong!